Baden Powell, MAFRS FRGS, the 22nd of August 1796 to the 11th of June 1860, was an English mathematician and Church of England priest. He held the civilian chair of geometry at the University of Oxford from 1827 to 1860. Powell was a prominent liberal theologian who put forward advanced ideas about evolution. Family The Powell family originated as farmers in the Milden Hall area of Suffolk, where some descendants still farm today. Barden Powell's great-grandfather, a second son, David, migrated to London aged 17 in 1712. In 1740 a branch of the family bought the Whitefriars Glass Works. Baden Powell was born at Stamford Hill, Hackney in London. His father, also called Baden Powell (1767–1841), was a wine merchant who served as High Sheriff of Kent. His mother Hester was his father's first cousin, and Powell was her maiden name as well as her married name. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Powell was admitted as an undergraduate at Oriel College, Oxford and graduated with a first-class honours degree in mathematics in 1817. Ordination Powell was ordained as a priest of the Church of England in 1821, having served as curate of Midhurst, Sussex. His first living was as vicar of Plumstead, Kent, of which the Advowson was owned by his family. He immediately began his scientific work there, starting with experiments on radiant heat. Marriages and children Powell married three times, and had fourteen children in total. Powell's first marriage on the 21st of July 1821 to Eliza Reavers died the 13th of March 1836 was childless. His second marriage on the 27th of September 1837 to Charlotte Pope died the 14th of October 1844 produced one son and three daughters. Charlotte Elizabeth Powell, the 14th of September 1838 to the 20th of October 1917. Baden Henry Baden Powell, FRSE, the 23rd of August 1841 to the 2nd of January 1901. Louisa Ann Powell, the 18th of March 1843 to the 1st of August 1896. Letitia Mary Powell, the 4th of June 1844 to the 2nd of September 1865. His third marriage on the 10th of March 1846 at St Luke's Church, Chelsea, to Henrietta Grace Smith, the 3rd of September 1824 to the 13th of October 1914, a daughter of Admiral Smith, produced seven sons and three daughters. Warrington Baden Powell, the 3rd of February 1847 to the 24th of April 1921, a naval officer, a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society and a King's Counselor, K.C. Sir George Smith Baden Powell, the 24th of December 1847 to the 20th of November 1898, a politician and Conservative MP, 1885 to 1898. Augustus Smith Powell, 1849 to 1863. Francis Frank Smith Baden Powell, the 29th of July 1850 to the 25th of December 1933, an artist who exhibited at the Royal Academy of Arts. Henrietta Smith Powell, the 28th of October 1851 to the 9th of March 1854. John Penrose Smith Powell, the 21st of December 1852 to the 14th of December 1855. Jesse Smith Powell, the 25th of November 1855 to the 24th of July 1856. Robert Baden Powell, First Baron Baden Powell, the 22nd of February 1857 to the 8th of January 1941, an army officer, writer, and a founder of the Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. Agnes Baden Powell, the 16th of December 1858 to the 2nd of June 1945, founder of the Girl Guides. 
Baden-Baden Powell, the 22nd of May 1860 to the 3rd of October 1937, an army officer, aviator and president of the Royal Aeronautical Society shortly after Powell's death in 1860. His wife renamed the remaining children of his third marriage Baden-Powell. The name was eventually legally changed by royal license on the 30th of April 1902. Baden Henry Powell is often also referred to as Baden Henry Baden Powell, and was using this name by the 1891 census. Topic <inaudible> Evolution. <inaudible> Powell was an outspoken advocate of the constant uniformity of the laws of the material world. His views were liberal, and he was sympathetic to evolutionary theory long before Charles Darwin had revealed his ideas. He argued that science should not be placed next to scripture or the two approaches would conflict, and in his own version of Francis Bacon's dictum, contended that the Book of God's works was separate from the Book of God's Word, claiming that moral and physical phenomena were completely independent. His faith in the uniformity of nature except man's mind was set out in a theological argument, if God is a lawgiver, then a miracle would break the lawful edicts that had been issued at creation. Therefore, a belief in miracles would be entirely atheistic. Powell's most significant works defended, in succession, the uniformitarian geology set out by Charles Lyell and the evolutionary ideas in Vestiges of the Natural History of Creation published anonymously by Robert Chambers which applied uniform laws to the history of life in contrast to more respectable ideas such as catastrophism involving a series of divine creations. He insisted that no tortured interpretation of Genesis would ever suffice, we had to let go of the days of creation and base Christianity on the moral laws of the New Testament." The boldness of Powell and other theologians in dealing with science led Joseph Dalton Hooker to comment in a letter to Asa Gray dated 29 March 1857. These parsons are so in the habit of dealing with the abstractions of doctrines as if there was no difficulty about them whatever, so confident, from the practice of having the talk all to themselves for an hour at least every week with no one to gainsay a syllable they utter, be it ever so loose or bad, that they gallop over the course when their field is botany or geology as if we were in the pews and they in the pulpit. Witness the self-confident style of Hewell and Baden-Powell, Sedgwick and Buckland." William Hewell, Adam Sedgwick and William Buckland opposed evolutionary ideas, when the idea of natural selection was mooted by Darwin and Wallace in their 1858 papers to the Linnean Society, both Powell and his brother-in-law William Henry Flower thought that natural selection made creation rational. The philosophy of creation has been treated in a masterly manner by the Rev. Baden Powell, in his Essays on the Unity of Worlds, 1855. Nothing can be more striking than the manner in which he shows that the introduction of new species is a regular, not a casual phenomenon, or, as Sir John Herschel expresses it, a natural in contradistinction to a miraculous process. <laughs> Essays and reviews He was one of seven liberal theologians who produced a manifesto titled Essays and Reviews around February 1860, which amongst other things joined in the debate over on the origin of species. These Anglicans included Oxford professors, country clergymen, the headmaster of rugby school and a layman. Their declaration that miracles were irrational stirred up unprecedented anger, drawing much of the fire away from Charles Darwin. Essays sold 22,000 copies in two years, more than the origin sold in 20 years, and sparked five years of increasingly polarized debate with books and pamphlets furiously contesting the issues, referring to Mr. Darwin's masterly volume, and restating his argument that belief in miracles is atheistic. Baden Powell wrote that the book must soon bring about an entire revolution in opinion in favor of the grand principle of the self evolving powers of nature. Just a similar skepticism has been evinced by nearly all the first physiologists of the day, who have joined in rejecting the development theories of Lamarck and the Vestiges, and while they have strenuously maintained successive creations, have denied strenuously maintained successive creations, have denied and denounced the alleged production of organic life by Messrs. 
Cross and Weeks, and stoutly maintained the impossibility of spontaneous generation, on the alleged ground of contradiction to experience. Yet it is now acknowledged under the high sanction of the name of Owen British Association Address 1858, that creation is only another name for our ignorance of the mode of production, and it has been the unanswered and unanswerable argument of another reasoner that new species must have originated either out of their inorganic elements, or out of previously organized forms, either development or spontaneous generation must be true, while a work has now appeared by a naturalist of the most acknowledged authority, Mr. Darwin's masterly volume volume on the origin of species by the law of natural selection which now substantiates on undeniable grounds the very principle so long denounced by the first naturalist, the origination of new species by natural causes, a work which must soon bring about an entire revolution of opinion in favor of the grand principle of the self-evolving powers of nature. He would have been on the platform at the British Association for the Advancement of Science 1860 Oxford Evolution debate that was a highlight of the reaction to Darwin's theory. Huxley's antagonist Wilberforce was also the foremost critic of essays and reviews. Powell died of a heart attack a fortnight before the meeting. He is buried in Kensal Green Cemetery, London. Works History of Natural Philosophy from the Earliest Periods to the Present Time published by Longman, Brown, Green, and Longmans, 1837, 396 pages The Connection of Natural and Divine Truth or the Study of the Inductive Philosophy Considered as Subservient to Theology, or, The Study of the Inductive Philosophy, Considered as Subservient to Theology, published by J. W. Parker, 1838, 313 pages a general and elementary view of the undulatory theory, as applied to the dispersion of light, and some other subjects, including the substance of several papers, printed in the Philosophical Transactions, and other journals, published by J. W. Parker, 1841, 131 pages Lectures on Polarized Light, together with a lecture on the microscope, delivered before the Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain, and at the Medical School of the London Hospital, co-authored with Jonathan Pereira, published by Longman, Brown, Green, and Longmans, 1854, 311 pages The Order of Nature, considered in reference to the claims of Revelation, a third series of essays, published by Longman, Brown, Green, Longmans, and Roberts, 1859, 495 pages. Papers to the Royal Society, the Ashmolean Society and others 1828. The elements of curves, comprising, either geometrical principles of the conic sections, too. An Introduction to the Algebraic Theory of Curves, designed for the use of students in the university." 1829. A short treatise on the principles of the differential and integral calculus. 1830. An elementary treatise on the geometry of curves and curved surfaces, investigated by the application of the differential and integral calculus. 1832, "...the present state and future prospects of mathematical and physical studies in the University of Oxford." 1833, "...a short elementary treatise on experimental and mathematical optics." 1834, "...on the achromatism of the eye." 1836, on the theory of ratio and proportion, as treated by Euclid, including an inquiry into the nature of quantity." 1836. "...observations for determining the refractive indices for the standard rays of the solar spectrum in various media." 1837. An historical view of the progress of the physical and mathematical sciences from the earliest ages to the present times. 1837, "...on the nature and evidence of the primary laws of motion." 1838, "...additional observations for determining the refractive indices for definite rays of the solar spectrum in several media." 1839, 
A second supplement to observations for determining the refractive indices for definite rays of the solar spectrum in several media. 1841. A general and elementary view of the undulatory theory, as applied to the dispersion of light and some other subjects. 1842. History of natural philosophy, from the earliest periods to the present time. 1842. On the theory of parallel lines. 1842. On necessary and contingent truth, considered in regard to some primary principles of mathematical and mechanical science. 1849. An essay on the relation of the several parts of a mathematical science to the fundamental idea therein contained. 1850. On irradiation. 1854. Lectures on polarized light, together with a lecture on the microscope. With Jonathan Pereira. 1855. Essays on the spirit of the inductive philosophy, the unity of worlds, and the philosophy of creation. 1857. Biographies of distinguished scientific men. By François Arago, translated from the French by William Henry Smith, Baden Powell, and Robert Grant. Topic: <laughs> Books published. One: A short treatise on the principles of the differential and integral calculus. Published 1829. Two. A short treatise on the principles of the differential and integral calculus. Published, 1829. 3. On the nature and evidence of the primary laws of motion. Published, 1837. 4. Tradition unveiled, or, an exposition of the pretensions and tendency of authoritative teaching in the Church. Published, 1839. 5. The Protestant's Warning and Safeguard in the Present Times, the Substance of a Sermon, preached before the Mayor and Corporation of Oxford, at St. Asterisk Martin's Church, on Sunday, November 7, 1841 Published, 1841 6. A general and elementary view of the undulatory theory, as applied to the dispersion of light, and some other subjects including the substance of asterisk several papers, printed in the Philosophical Transactions, and other journals. Published, 1841 7. Essays on the spirit of the inductive philosophy, the unity of worlds and the philosophy of creation. Published, 1855 8. The Unity of Worlds and of Nature, Three Essays on the Spirit of Inductive Philosophy, the Plurality of Worlds, and the Philosophy of Creation. Published, 1856 9. Christianity without Judaism. Two sermons. Published, 1856 10. Christianity without Judaism 1857 London, Longman, Brown, Green Longmans and Roberts 11. The Order of Nature, considered in reference to the claims of Revelation, a third series of essays published, 1859. Topic Publications Topic Theology eighteen thirty three Revelation and Science eighteen thirty four to the editor of the British Critic eighteen thirty six Remarks on Drive Hampton and C eighteen thirty eight Connection of Natural and Divine Truth eighteen thirty nine Tradition Unveiled London and America eighteen forty Supplement to Tradition Unveiled Ditto Ditto 1841 State Education, 1841 The Protestant's Warning, 1843 to 4 Three Articles on Anglo Catholicism in British and Foreign Review, NOS, 31, 32, 33. 1845 Kitto's Cyclopedia of Biblical Literature, Articles, Creation, Deluge, Lord's Day, Sabbath, 1845 Life of Blanco White Deck, Westminster Review, 1845 Tendency of Puseyism, June Ditto. 1846 Mysticism and Skepticism. July Edinburgh Review. 
1847 Protestant Principles Oxford Protestant Magazine 1847 On the Study of Christian Evidences, Edinburgh Review, 1848 Freedom of Opinion Oxford Protestant Magazine 1848 Church and State Ditto. 1848 Free Inquiry and Liberality. Kitto's Journal of Sacred Literature. 1848 The Law and the Gospel. Ditto, 1848 On the Application and Misapplication of Scripture Ditto. 1850 The State Church A Sermon Before the University, 1855 Unity of Worlds Two Editions. 1856 On the Burnett Prizes, and the Study of Natural Theology Oxford Essays 1857 Christianity Without Judaism Second Series of Essays, Two Editions, 1859 The Order of Nature Third Series of Essays. 1860 On the Study of the Evidences of Christianity, in Essays and Reviews. Topic: Science. 1828 Elements of Curves and Two Supplements. 1829 Differential Calculus and Application to Curves. 1830 On Examination Statutes. 1832 On Mathematical Studies. 1833 Elementary Treatise on Optics. 1834 History of Natural Philosophy. Cabinet Cyclopedia. 1841 Treatise on the Undulatory Theory Applied to Dispersion 1851 Lecture Synopses in Four Parts, Geometry, Algebra, Conic Sections, Newton 1856 Second Edition of Pereira's Polarized Light 1857 Translation of Arago's Autobiography 1857 Translations of Arago's Lives of Young, Malice, and Fresnel, with Optical Notes Topic papers in Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society. 1825 on radiant heat, 1826 second on radiant heat. 1834 on repulsion of heat. 1835 on dispersion of light. 1836 second on dispersion of light, 1837 third and fourth on dispersion of light, 1840 on the theory of the dispersion of light, and c. 1842 on certain cases of elliptic polarization, 1845 on metallic reflection, and c. 1848 on prismatic interference 1832 on radiant heat. 1839 on refractive indices. 1841 on radiant heat, second report. Topic: Reports to the British Association. 1848 to 9 on luminous meteors continued to 1869. 1882 to 1849 numerous papers on sectional proceedings. 1854 on radiant heat third report. Topic in Royal Astronomical Society's memoirs. 1845 on a double image micrometer. 1847 on luminous rings, and c. 1849 on irradiation, in Royal Astronomical Society's Proceedings, 1847 on the beads seen in eclipses, 1853 on Foucault's experiments on rotation of Earth, and c. 1858 on C. Piat C. Smith's artificial horizon. In Ashmolean Society's Memoirs 1832 on the achromatism of the eye. On refractive indices, three papers. On ratios and proportion. 1849 on the laws of motion. On the theory of parallels. On necessary and contingent truth. Topic Royal Institution Abstracts of Lectures 1848 on shooting stars, 1849 on the nebula theory. 1850 on optical phenomena in astronomy, 1851 on Foucault's pendulum experiment, 1852 on light and heat, 1854 on rotatory motion. 1858 on rotatory motion applied to observations at sea, 1822 translation of Raymond on barometrical measurement, with an appendix. Annals of Philosophy, 1823–5 Various, Papers on Light and Heat. Ditto, 1825–6 Two Papers on Heat. Qua. 
Jour, of Science, 1828 Two papers on polarization of heat. Brewster's Philosophical Journal. 1830 On Mathematical Studies, London Review, 1832–3 Several papers on interference of light, diffraction, and see Annals of Philosophy and Phil. Mag, 1834 On Radiant Heat Jameson's Phil. Jern, 1835–6 On Cauchy's Theory of Dispersion of Light, and see Journal of Science and Phil. Mag, various papers in volume. I, of Mag, of Popular Science. Many papers in Journal of Education. On the Progress of Optics. British Annual. On the State of Oxford Ditto. The Lives of Black and Lavoisier, Useful Knowledge Gallery of Portraits, 1838 on University Reform, July Monthly Cron, 1838–9 Various Papers on Light. Journal of Science, 1838–9 Papers on Light. Philosophical Magazine. 1839 Correspondence with Brewster, Athenaeum. 1839 on Comte's Philosophy Positive, Monthly Chronicle. 1841 on Light Philosophical Magazine. 1841 Papers on Light Journal of Science, 1843 Review of Carpenter's Cyclopedia, Dublin University Magazine, 1843 Sir Isaac Newton and His Contemporaries Edinburgh Review, 1843 Review of Rigord's History of the Principia. Ditto, 1846 on Aberration of Light, Journal of Science and Philosophical Magazine, 1852 0 and Lord Brougham's Optical Experiments. Journal of Science 1854 on Foucault's Gyroscope. Journal of Science and Philosophical Magazine 1856 Life of Young, National Review and Philosophical Magazine 1856 on Brewster's Life of Newton. Edinburgh Review. 1856 on Fresnel's Formulae for Light, July, August, and October Journal of Science and Philosophical Magazine, 1857 Life and Writings of Arago Ditto. <laughs> also 1834A Letter to the Editor of The British Critic Topic Notable Students Lewis Carroll attended the lectures on pure geometry by Rev. Baden Powell. Equals equals notes. <laughs>